Hello and welcome to Tech24, I'm Annelise Borges. In today's show, we talk to a man with a plan. Dave Hakens, creator of Phone Blocks, gives us his answers to the future of the smartphone. And in Test24, we check out a special wireless charger for your phone. But before we get to these stories, let's take a look at the numbers behind the huge market of low-cost smartphones. The figure of the week is brought to you by Le Journal du Net. The future belongs to low-cost smartphones. In 2013, 238 million smartphones priced at under $200 each will be produced across the globe. They're aimed at consumers in emerging markets, and they've become the most important source of growth for the mobile industry. By 2018, 758 million low-cost handsets will be produced. That's nearly one in two smartphones. Not including, of course, Apple's iPhone 5C, which, with its $500 price tag, is anything but low-cost. Phone blocks is a revolutionary concept. A phone that, instead of a single solid object, is made of modular subcomponents. Camera, memory, microprocessor, all connect to a motherboard and can be easily replaced to personalize, fix or upgrade, piece by piece. A phone made to last that seeks to slow the growing problem of tech waste by replacing the need of buying a totally new phone every two years. I'm now pleased to be joined by the man behind the idea, Dave Hakens, creator of the phone blogs. Hi, Dave. I would like to thank you for Hello. joining us today and start by asking you, what is the message that you're trying to convey here? Well, what I basically would like to show to the world is that there's a need for a phone worth keeping. And that's basically what I'm trying to do with this project. So a lot of people can see there's a lot of interest in this kind of phone. We, we can tell that there's a lot of people that are interested in your idea. You uh, decided to promote this project online and you're using Thunderclap, a crowd speaking platform that helps get messages across online. Your campaign is scheduled to end on October 29 and you already had to reset your goals several times. You started looking for 100 supporters and you're now at 600,000 people that are backing your project. And that's the last yes. uh, time I saw the numbers keep increasing. Are you surprised by the support? Yeah, yeah that's why I, I keep upgrading the goal. So I figured maybe 1,000 people would like it, but now it's like uh, hundreds of thousands. So that's really nice. But with half a million supporters, have you given thought of crowdfunding? What, in your opinion, uh, would would that be like? Would you like to use, for example, Kickstarter? Yeah, well, uh, my first goal was to raise the attention that we should make a phone like this, and that was planned to do it on the 29th of October. But now I'm thinking, how can I, with all these supporters, all these people who want to help, all these companies, how can we continue on this process and, and make the phone real? So yeah, maybe with crowdfunding, but I don't know yet. Have you been contacted by any company? Do you have uh, big uh, companies interested in your project? No, not so much the big companies yet, but a lot of small startups and people are also uh, working in this field and engineers who want to uh, cooperate. So we're thinking about setting up a platform where we can gather all these people and they can start working together open source on this, this platform. What, in your opinion, will it take for this concept to become a reality? Well, honestly, I, I have no idea. We still, I, I started this as a vision, so I had this in mind to do. And now we really have to start building it and gather the people who have the knowledge to do this. All right. Thank you so much, Dave Hakens, for joining us today. I wish you best of luck. And we're going to have to move on now. It's time for Test 24. Just when it was looking like radio alarm clocks had gone the way of the dinosaur, Hire has reintroduced it as a wireless charger for mobile phones that uses radiation-free electromagnetic waves. Mark Edwards tested it for us this morning, and he was on time this morning for the first time since we started taping this show. I'm joking, of course. Mark, what did you think? Uh, I've got to be honest, uh, when I first saw, I mean, you know, you just said it, Radio alarm clock. We've had some great gadgets in here over, over the last few years. You that were sceptical. I was sceptical. I was sceptical. Mm. And I also like to be surprised, which 
I was with this. Now, we haven't really even got a name for this. It's so hot off the press, and we do like exclusives here at Tech24. So hot off the press, it doesn't even have a name yet. Uh, so it's going to be coming out in November. Hire are calling it the prototype. They're calling it the Hire Qi, because uh, it uses this Qi technology now, using a bit of my uh, Chinese culture. How exactly does it work? I'm, I'm very curious about this. Uh, so uh, very, very simply, it takes the ele electromagnetic waves, and it uses that uh, to charge anything that comes uh, within a certain area. So in this particular area, qi, which means uh, energy or flow of energy in Chinese, and uh, very revolutionary in, in many ways. It's very simple. You just simply put your phone on, and it'll charge. Now, as with all prototypes or uh, échantillon, uh, I think they say it's a sort of sample, if you yeah. will. Um, it doesn't, ha it hasn't had all of the, the sign up from different phone companies. So for the moment, companies such as Samsung, if you've got a Samsung phone, you can just chuck it on here. Huawei, ZTE, obviously anything by hire can just come on. But for us with our iPhones, you just use a very easy little dongle. You need an adapter, okay. And there it is, charges. Now it charges oh. at uh, 85% of the rate of a normal charge directly uh, from, from your, your wall charge or whatever like that, which isn't bad. It means it would take 15% longer than normal. But, you know, if I'm in a hotel and I've forgotten my charger, I think that's pretty good. On top of this, now, it's a charger, right? And there an alarm are other clock. features there you were telling be, me about. There has to be other features. And the one that I particularly like is very simple. Any phone with, uh, with uh, Bluetooth uh, or, or wireless, you just... Uh, Basically, it can be used. Music. Interesting choice of music, Marco. Bit of classical say. music. Bring a bit of culture into the technology Very show. Cultivated tech expert, as you can see. <laughs> so you know that's a great thing. I think particularly for something like a hotel, where you don't need. You know, there are a lot of these boats uh, docks, but you need to have a certain either an iPhone or a or a or a certain type of uh, a phone to have the dock here. Any phone with wireless, with Bluetooth, you can have your music on in your hotel room. I'm thinking five-star hotels will be snapping the hell out of this, really. And it is scheduled to hit the shelves in October or November? November. November. Yeah. Priced at 100 euros. 100 euros. What yeah, about the scoring? Right. How did you rate? Right. So the, the, the design, I thought, when I first looked at it, I thought it, looked, it felt a little bit um, cheap. I didn't like the way the wood is. It might be a personal thing. So I've given it, unfortunately, a 5 out of 10 for that. It's so easy to use. 8 out of 10. You can see anyone can pick it up. You can teach a monkey to have his own music on here. It's that simple. Value for money, 100 euros for a speaker that's also a charger, a wireless charger. You know, you can have any one of your friends who's forgotten their, uh, their, their, their chargers come and use that. So I really like this. 7 out of 10 overall. I like this product. Last question. Do you, can you put multiple phones to charge the you same You can't. Time? I did try that earlier, although I'm sure that we can maybe put I'm that as a suggestion <laughs> in the higher suggestion box or something. All right. <laughs> Thanks for that, Mark. And thank you for watching this edition of Tech24. You can get in touch via Facebook or Twitter. Our hashtag is Tech24. And speaking of Twitter, we leave it today with a video posted by Twitter back in 2010, featuring a number of early employees. Some of them could end up millionaires as a result of Twitter's first steps towards an initial public offering. The company has chosen to file a confidential IPO made legal by the Jobs Act. So we don't know, we don't have specifics about the timing, but what we do know is that some analysts place the valuation at 14 billion US dollars. And that is sure to put a smile on some of these faces. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week.